In Norfolk, it's all hands on deck for a camper van conversion with a twist. Now, camping as a family can create treasured memories that last a lifetime. But what if your not so little brood are about to outgrow your current camping setup? Well, you need an upgrade. And if you're anything like the man I'm about to meet today, your upgrade will get your kids excited about family camping for many years to come. Plumber James is no stranger to a creative refurbishment. He designed and built this teardrop trailer for his young family. But now they've grown, a bigger space is needed for their next trip. And he's found just the thing. James, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. What have we got here? This is the teardrop that I built a few years ago. So can I go and have a look? Yes, of course. Now, I never know the right way of getting into a teardrop. Should it be head first or legs first? It, it's, it's not very graceful, whichever <laughs> way you go. It's quite comfy. It's surprisingly comfy. That's amazing. I've got to go diagonally, though. I can't... If I go that way, look at that. My head's scrunched up. I've got to be about... There, I fit. Right, I'm going to get back out. Somehow, hang on. <laughs> I can do a bit of a kind of... that. So, time for an upgrade. Yeah. And you're doing this? Yes. And it's some upgrade. This 20-year-old VW T4 should give James and his kids all the room they need. How much did you pay for it? I uh, paid 2,800 for it. That's really good. It's a beautiful frame you've started to put up. Yeah. So what are you going to do with it? What's the plan? Inspiration's sort of like a land yacht, really. A land yacht? Yes, yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, I'm hoping to make it look like a yacht deck on the outside. Why a yacht? Why are you inspired by that? I like the finish of the wood, handmade, the craftsmanship with the yachts and the boats. And are we talking quite luxurious? That's the plan, yeah. So what do the family think? Uh, they don't know. But it's on your drive? This is my friend's drive. Ah, so, so you're keeping it away from the family away home? From him. Yeah. Completely? To... Yes. So the kids have got no idea? The kids have got no idea at all. M my wife didn't know, but she got very suspicious with lots of packages arriving at the house. So <laughs> took a little while to process, but she's really on board now. She's really happy. She's really excited to go out and show the kids. It's going yeah. to blow their mind on the hopefully, see Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Talk me through the layout. Well, if you lift this back... So under all this plastic sheet? Yes, yeah, yeah, the plastic sheet, and if you just roll it back, there is a rough guide to the layout in tape. So starting at this end, what have we got? This will be two single bedrooms for the kids with a little landing, and there'll be a step there for them. So steps Steps down, down yes. So, technically, the land yacht has two floors. The kids' bedrooms and landing will have steps, which lead down to the fully functional kitchen and dining area. It'll be finished to the highest spec, using wood that's normally the reserve of luxury yachts, a Rocco teak. This wood has to be bent to fit the curves James wants on the outside, so a wood steamer is needed. He might not have a huge budget, but what he does have is a sewage pipe, a wallpaper steamer, and a very creative imagination. Hang on, there's not much steam coming out of there. Have you turned it off? No, it's quite hot. Is it? Yeah, it's quite hot. I was expecting, like, plumes of steam to come out. It's a bit of bed. That's not work, does it? <laughs> it's controversial. <laughs> That's We've run out of water. Run out of water. Run out of water. <laughs> Second time, Lucky. Yeah, we'll try this again. If steam comes out the end this time, I'll be happier. Well, fingers crossed this time. Right, come on. Three, two, one, go. Now, that's a oh, good sign. That, looks that is better. a very good sign. Yes. That means oh, yeah. there's steam in there. <laughs> come on, let's go and right, do it. Let's, let's go and offer it. Let's go and offer it. Gotta be quick. Right. I'd Tell you what, it's not far off. And it's not far off. It's probably it's not, not far off. I'd gonna, say I that's, reckon that's as far as it's going to go for now. That's was, a, after that, it'll snap. I reckon yeah. that needs another twenty pop, minutes in there. Yeah, half an at hour. least another twenty minutes. I think yeah. I'll do forty-five minutes. Yeah. That's a lot of time to bend a lot of timber. Yes. After our unfortunate dry run, James soon masters the wood bending process. Right, that's the back, mate. And with help from his mate Harvey, the curved sections are tackled. It's going to be very tight to get it all done. I think a lot of coughing and a late night <laughs> will be in order. 
Now, over the years on Amazing Spaces, we've seen many motorhome conversions, but I'm not sure we've seen one as unique and as challenging as this. Today, I'm back to see if James's wooden land yacht have blown all the others out of the water. The time James has spent on the exterior is time well spent. It's stunning. A Rocco teak is a classy material, and James has done it justice. The cool curves and sleek finish are truly magnificent. Mate, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. What a transformation. And I'll tell you what, the timber work looks beautiful. It does look like you've taken the deck of a yacht and just wrapped it around a van. That was the initial idea, so yeah. You've nailed it then? Yeah, yeah, good. You've absolutely nailed yeah. it. Can we see the inside? Yes, of course. Come on, let's go. I've got absolutely no idea what to expect at all. Oh, James, that is fantastic. The interior is cosy and welcoming and has a stylish retro cool. It has everything James and his family need. He's built a superb small space flat on wheels. Hand on heart, right? I thought you were going to be so pushed with everything on the outside. Yeah. I thought you might have to compromise a bit inside, and you haven't. It's beautiful. Look at the kids' beds. They're amazing. And they're good-sized beds. And then in here, did you manage to get the full shower room toilet in? Uh, yes, yeah, we squeezed it in. Oh, you've done it. You've got your full-on shower room loo. Yeah. So good. It's, it's big enough. It's big enough. It's functional. That is a loo with a, a view. tiny view. Yeah. So cute. Do you know what? Looking out of that little porthole now and seeing the lake behind, you would think you were in a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. I'm actually going to call it a master bedroom suite because look at the amount of space you've got. I'm going to big it up. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's double bed. It's absolutely brilliant, that. You've got tons of storage at that end. Yes, yeah. You've got the two beautiful little portholes that you've put in. Yeah. And after all the months of keeping this a secret from the kids... Yes. It's time for them to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous and excited to finally show them what I've been up to for a long while. Come on, let's get them. Hi, guys. How are you? We've got a big surprise for you. A really big surprise. Do you want to know what it is? What? Your dad has built that for you. Honestly? Yeah. yeah. So you know all the time you think he's been at work, like on nights and weekends working really, really hard? Yeah. Your dad has actually been building that for you, and it's the most beautiful yeah, motorhome. Honestly. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Come on, let's go. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's been nice and comfy, sleeping? Brilliant, Daddy. Oh, good. Come on, then. Oh, come on. Well done. You got it. Do you like it? We it, love it. Good. It's really yeah. Cool. Is it comfy? Yes. yes. It's very cool. It's very talented, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. High praise. I just can't believe it. <laughs> 